Okay, so now this is sort of the this is the this is the cool uh, demo, and this is uh, uh, getting some shape file information representing the counties of Virginia, taking that shape file information, converting it to a format that Google Fusion tables can uh, deal with, going out and getting some census data that represents populations by county in Virginia, uh, merging those two tables together, and then styling the color of those polygons to, again, visually see where the most densely populated parts of the state are. Um, okay, so the census, as you might imagine, the census, uh, census.gov has a lot of cool um, uh, census data, but it also has these shape files for every state, um, every county and every state. And um, they come as a zip file, which you'll find out is perfect. So when you download those, which I've already done for Virginia, um, you go to this website, and this is a super cool website, uh, and it takes those shape files as zipped files and converts them to Google Fusion tables. So um, it's shp escape.com, uh, you know, you need to give it permission to write to, to your Google account, and it'll create a cool uh, table with, with that data in it. Um, uh, I also went out and got the data in a comma-separated uh, format for the populations, downloaded that, um, and now we've got two tables. So we've got one table, which is the population information. We have another table, which is the uh, sh outline of the counties, which we can look at here. Okay, it's cool. Pretty fast, too. Um, all right, but we want to merge these two tables together, and uh, you know, for those of us who work with database, you need, you need that column that's going to be the same in both tables to merge, and in this case, it's going to be um, a county ID field, which is um, right here in this first table, and it's actually the first column in the second table, even though it doesn't have a, 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 a header, a, a column name. Um, so I'm going to copy this URL, come back to the first table, click Merge, paste that URL here, say Get. Um, and now it, do, it does something weird here that I didn't have time to really sort of dig into and figure out. It, the only thing I can imagine is it somehow thinks that this is the only, it, I know that, remember, that first column is the county ID in that population table. And it, it grays out everything and, and sort of default to that field as the field that we're going to use to merge those two tables. I do have to manually go and choose county in the first table. Um, and then give this merged table a name. Yeah, you, what it'll do, you can't, you can't change the default column that it's joining on in, in this example, but yeah, you can exclude a lot of the columns uh, that you don't want when you bring those two tables together, which can be very helpful because, you know, in this case there are, you know, dozens and dozens and dozens of columns, and um, I may not want to have all those uh, when I merge the tables. You know, and again, when you merge the tables, uh, what's cool about it is any data changes in those underlying tables that have been merged, it's going to automatically be represented and uh, updated in the merge table. Okay, so here's our merged VA county population table. And let's visualize it. Okay, I mean, it looks the same, right? Because we haven't done any styling. Um, we have a whole bunch of gibberish in our info window, so let's fix that first. Let's go into info window, and let's just, let's keep the county ID, let's get rid of this other stuff, let's keep the county name, um, and let's show population, and as it broken down in male, male and female too. Save that, and now we have a little more manageable info window, just shows those relevant fields. Um, uh, but it doesn't tell us anything visually. We just see an outline of all the counties, which, you know, is kind of cool. But um, let's style that. Let's apply a style to the polygon fill color. Um, and we're going to use the gradient. And let's add, let's go from 2,000, I think it's 
think that's about the least populated county. Anyone have any idea what the most populated county in Virginia is? Fairfax. Fairfax. <laughs> any idea how many people? Two point four. Two million. million? No, it's just under a million. Just under a million. I think that's a million. Okay. Uh, oh, I have to tell what uh, what column we want to use to uh, to draw that gradient with. Uh, we could do population. We could do male population, female population. Let's do overall population. Save that. Voila. You have a map that shows visually where the most populated parts of Virginia are. 